this is sort of a clarification to the video that I made yesterday on uh, ethics by denunciation, political correctness, and taboos. Um, it may not really need to be said, but I sort of feel slightly compelled to say this. Um, <clears throat> I approached the entire matter on my previous video on this issue uh, with the assumption that the person who is in the hot seat, who has been accused of something or who is on the receiving end of some aspersions, didn't do it. They didn't do what they were alleged to have done, or it's their actions are being deliberately twisted to make them look bad, or their words are being deliberately twisted to make them look bad. And I, um, I didn't actually go over and say, what do you do if you did do it? Um, <clears throat> because... A lot of people who did do it will try and do something like I advocate to get their neck out of the noose. And the results of getting caught out doing that are often worse uh, than simply copping a guilty plea at the very beginning. I'm talking about the official uh, investigatory uh, procedures that may take place in your workplace or legally to get you for a violation of taboo, a violation of political correctness. Um, <clears throat> if you've actually, you have to sit down and maybe look into a mirror and say, did you do this? Um, in a moment of, say, rage or stupidity or, um, let's face it, guy humor, did you do something kind of dumb, something that was unwise? Um you know, it's something that may not have been appropriate. Uh, maybe you didn't mean any harm, but it was kind of a stupid thing to do. Um, I would say that it's, uh, you have to sort of, if you're, if you're facing somebody who's used to investigating people for this sort of thing, you have to, in that case, I would, I would advise coming clean um, right off the bat. Because some people will use all the strategies that I've spelled out uh, in my previous video to kind of snow the uh, tribunal or the, just the manager who's investigating them or whatever. This is utterly unadvisable. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oftentimes, as I say, the verdict, if you want to call it that, it's essentially just the conclusion of an investigation, um, which does take on the dimensions of the Spanish Inquisition in many ways. Somebody comes in, they do an investigation, and they just recommend certain activities, and then they leave. They don't actually have the power to nail you. That's left in the hands of your boss or, you know, the prosecutor or whatever, uh, family services or judge, something like that. Um, <clears throat> and um, if... They get the sense that you did it, and you're just trying to be clever with them. In other words, if you're in any way trying to manipulate them to affect the result, um, I, there's a certain degree of manipulation in what I was saying yesterday, but it was always based upon uh, an honest assessment that one is not guilty, shall we say, guilty of what is being um, alleged. <clears throat> if you are guilty, or if you believe that you've been rash enough, or thoughtless enough, or, um, I don't know, dumb enough, to actually cross a boundary that you yourself know might be a little bit dangerous. You don't have to agree with it, by the way. You don't have to agree with um, uh, what you're being accused of. But if you knew in advance that this is something that could happen to you, you can't really, you can't hide it. Um, they've got you. Uh, they've got you sort of um, in, in a way that implicates you. And I don't mean implicates you in terms of your punishment, but implicates you in the fact that you're sitting here in the first place. You didn't keep your wits about you sufficiently. You knew that the rules were like this, and you you still sort of chose to flout them, or you didn't take them seriously enough. Now, there's a difference between deliberately violating uh, human rights regulation or violating it sort of because you don't take it seriously. And... Um, actually being a racist or a sexist or something like this. Um, the, 
in theory, the whole thing is in place to advise people who don't take human rights uh, regulations seriously to wrap their knuckles and say, you're going to have to learn to take this seriously. And actually nailing actual racists, uh, sexists, homophobes, whatever. That's two different things. Both people are, quote unquote, guilty of what they've been accused of. Um, but the first case, the person was just rash, stupid, angry, whatever. Sense of humor got the better of them. Uh, in the second case, the person actually says, yeah, I'm a bloody racist. You know, this kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> so, um, although the in the second case, the racist isn't going to admit it when, when they're sitting in front of a, a panel that's investigating their activities. If you did do it, I always advise, come clean. There is no sure way to watch yourself get lowered into the boiling oil in that little metal basket than to try to um, play with your investigator and obfuscate. Um, in a criminal court, it's all innocent until proven guilty. In a human rights sort of thing, depending on the jurisdiction, it's often um, balance of probabilities. A lot of people don't understand the difference between these. It's um, <clears throat> in a criminal case, you have to prove that the person is guilty of what they're accused of. In a human rights case, you, you can render a decision on what you honestly believe probably happened. You're going to have to answer to that if there's an appeal process or something like that. So then it, it, it doesn't mean that this tribunal or whatever they are is uh, omnipotent. They're not. They never are. But what it does mean is when they render their decision, um, they don't have to sort of say... Um, beyond reasonable doubt, this person did it. There's no presumption of this. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so if, if they think that you're trying to hide something, um, what I prescribed yesterday was to sort of just let them know a piece of your character or present your character in a favorable light to them, which, you know, is kind of dishonest, but everybody does it. That's simply part of meta communication, right? Um, that's something that's kind of okay. You're allowed to say that I'm a good person to the to the to your judges or whatever you want to call them. Um, what you can't do is convince them or make them suspect that you're one person um, in front of them and you're almost the exact opposite of what you say you are in public. And if they get a whiff that you're trying to hide something, not that you're just trying to make a good sort of, you're not trying to portray yourself as a good person, which is perfectly acceptable um, in any context. Um, you're actually trying to paint an inaccurate picture of yourself, which is very inaccurate to the point of dishonesty. They're pretty good at sniffing that out. Um, I said it kind of ad nauseum in my video uh, previous to this one. Make sure that you're not just being victimized here, and then you can avail yourself of the techniques that I um, advocated in my other video but if you are quote unquote guilty if you are um, <clears throat> even if you're guilty because you did something stupid or careless as opposed to malicious do not follow the steps that I outlined or do not in invoke any of the strategies that I um, that I mentioned in my previous video that is worse than useless. That will not only... Well, it could get you off. There's a chance that it might work. You might actually be able to snow the, your, your investigators if you're very good at it. Um, but you'd have to be very good because they're trained at sniffing this out. But if you do try to snow them and it fails, you'll get a penalty that's worse um, than if you... Uh, just copped a plea at the beginning. You know, we all know that from watching Law and Order. Eh? You know, and it, the, the courts look leniently on somebody who says, yeah, I did it. You know, stupid me. I I deserve my lumps now. But, oh, I didn't do it. No way. I'm, I'm a great guy. I'm a, I'm a hero. I never say anything like that. I, uh, you know, I, you know, hit me with your best shot. I have full confidence in my, uh, my innocence and everything. And they just pull a couple of witnesses that have heard you say things like that or do things like that in the past, and you are cooked. <laughs> you know, you're going they're really not going to like you. And what you've done is you've antagonized your judges. 
That's the first thing that you, uh, any defense attorney will tell you. Never do that. It's suicide. Um, so this is not to say that, you know, self-defense mechanisms in, in politically correct, political correctness charged investigations are, uh, are, uh, something that you can always apply. You can't. <laughs> um, you cooperate fully with the investigation, but you still put a positive spin on yourself. Uh, that's one thing. Obfuscating and trying to hide things and trying to manipulate your judges and being overconfident and cocky in front of a in front of an investigator is insane. There's maybe one chance in five that you'll get away with it, but four chances out of five you'll get caught and you will be roasted alive. Um, <laughs> that's why I say I I still support all of these these um, investigatory bodies and these sort of I don't know judgmental bodies or whatever. I, I truly do. I think that you know they're they if they're managed correctly, they're a good thing in society. Um, but don't try to use this, the, the whole process against itself. A lot of um, people acting in bad faith, i.e. people who actually did do what they are accused of or who actually engaged in the activities that they're alleged to have engaged in or uh, have the attitudes that they're alleged to have will try to clever their way through this. Don't do that. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you think that there may be some meat on the bones of what the prosecution, if we want to call them that, are saying about you. Um, my advice is always to cop a plea. Uh, always to say, yeah, you got me. Um, if it was carelessness, well, live and learn. Watch your mouth. It's not nice, but that's the society that we live in. If you did do it, hell with you. You got it coming. 